kind of do like little bios about themselves or streamers who got caught cheating live i noticed i recognize a couple of these but i didn't recognize the majority of them so what do you guys want cheating or miss universe <laughs> whoa a lot of cheating by the way this is like cheating in game i think it might be cheating in other ways <laughs> does that change your opinion i don't think it's like cheating in a relationship <laughs> okay sounds good from using aimbot during a live CSGO tournament to completing Insane. Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold. Hilarious. These are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, Not beginning Jarvis. with L Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Up until this point, Elm Zero Guys, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I also sometimes accidentally leave my aimbot on. I know, it's when I get like the, the aces all the time. But it's just an accident, I swear and built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex Legends gameplay. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. And while this first kill was arguably still possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Elm Zero Honestly. shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was yeah, before weird. locking onto the player with near perfect accuracy. The Elm Zero was instantly weird, called out in a Twitter post reading, okay. How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response <laughs> explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for, I mean, my ban message said hacking. Determined to expose Elm Zero for good, another clip was tweeted. How do you self snitch like that? <laughs> I, if I was banned for hacking, I'm going to tell my mom and that's it. I'm not telling my stream. And I'm also not going to continue hacking another. What the hell? We did of him warming up for the match in which his aim was once Trolling. again robotically accurate. And with the evidence seeming conclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, Whoa. which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing from the internet. Mm. Semper 0311 was even stupid. I feel bad saying this because i don't want to wish anything negative upon anyone but i do think it's the right move to make that if you get caught cheating or doing something really bad in a community just go find another job because way too often do i see people do like really messed up things and then they'll just like disappear for a bit and come back did everybody forget hello or also this happens way more behind the scenes actually than it does in, f in, f in front of the scenes as like creators. If someone has a job and they do some really effed stuff um, and either get fired for it or nobody finds out, they could just go get another job. Followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before disappearing Shash. from the internet. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. <laughs> At the time, he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people. Nor However, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Writing in the chat, Nor is that aimbot? On your screen, it has like... Like red squares oh, around them. <laughs> Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. In front of 15 people than in front of like 15, and after pretending 000, to be you know? confused for a couple of seconds, the stream ended abruptly and the footage Pro was LGN, deleted. Wars, in the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the no, audience, no, no, Semper no, no. admitted the cheating in the weakest way possible. There was wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream like i'm not denying that i just don't know how they got there however at least Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent person my favorite story ever <laughs> i feel bad but it's just so 
how funny. <laughs> the streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini, and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? That sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter Strike, people are like, you're cheating. However, the real reason behind. Okay, this hurts my feelings so much because sometimes there are actual things that are misogynistic, but then people are like, you're just, you're pulling the woman card, just like. Clara did or whatever the hell you know this person so sometimes people do use it in wrong context but then it takes away from people who are using it in actual situations where they're being you know where someone's being sexist against them and why she was called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first csgo game of the stream with wall hacks enabled ah, what? They're mid. Mid. To be. Going back to be. okay i'm confused like how can After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that? Okay, so normally, is it that she can see it, but the stream can't? Or is it that if she can see it, the stream can also see it? Wow. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of impressive. Oh shit, I should move my camera, sorry. Hold on. There is a streamer mode on the ch <laughs> Bro, they're so advanced! Yeah, it's an overlay on the game, so if you capture it, it won't show. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy that I'm like only above average at games, because then nobody has to worry about me cheating. <laughs> Mish, we already know you not. <laughs> with them results but you know this is scary because if you're caught for something like this it's over but, uh that weird glitch in csgo where it shows your rank that it shows everyone's rank i played the other day with rock and he got that and now i have it i, I don't know what's why it's weird which was then followed by miss q gemini stating that someone named clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day oh, we wait hate clara. clara hold on clara give me one second clara let me just message this girl give me one second why is this on my computer right now where is this how do i close this i need to text my friend clara right now she was at my house earlier today i'm literally gonna kill her she promised me she didn't use it on my pc clara out of all people this is what happens when you let people use your pc realizing that there was no getting out of this wait can we just take a moment to say like i respect her for the improv you know she thought of something and she went for it and it's not the worst idea there's plausible deniability there she might have gotten off <laughs> what's the word beyond a, is it beyond a reasonable doubt something like that you know i would hire her as my lawyer maybe okay if i if i was broke <laughs> If I didn't, if I had money, I would not hire her as my lawyer. Miss Q Gemini okay, began to trade all of her items to a brand like, new account. Improv. Yet, improv unfortunately, this easy. wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened later that day. <laughs> and while it's certainly shameless to blame no, a friend for jail, the hacks bro. on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, True. which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. <laughs> Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group Ooh, in May sorry. 2018, and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assume that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Forsaken taking large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer in the background, yet it would only be after the main matches began that Forsaken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange flick into the ground was followed by countless examples of him locking <laughs> Sorry, I'm muted because of vacuuming. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes that does happen. Like, you know when there's like a hair in your mouth sensor and it just goes through? So. In defense of the guy that was already found cheating. <laughs> ...perfectly onto the enemy. While there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high level player, it will be with one final matchup that Forsaken's aimbot became obvious.
After locking onto the enemy through a wall, event organizers called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, however, the officials would ignore this and look anyway, during which like, bro, how do you not realize you're on land? The whole point of being on land is a word.exe. The whole point of being on land is you can't do shit like this. And imagine, <laughs> imagine they come up to you and they're like, can we check your PC? And he goes, mm, no, <laughs> no, actually I refuse. Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from India, Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, but Not Forsaken lie, isn't the sad. only person in this video to cheat in a professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite Whoa. Tournament with a five hundred thousand dollar prize. The following scenario match. happened to a pause, player by pause. the name. We have a first-hand account. Was it obvious to your team, or did y'all think he was really good? Oh my God! First-hand account. Someone hand them the mic. Hand him the mic. Hand him the mic. Keep talking. Tell us more. Ah, shit, I forgot his name. G4 Ruse. G, G4, G4 Ruse. Where, where, did he, where is he at? Pokey, they're listening to you. You don't have to type. Well, just in case. You know? Against Forsaken, yes, we did. Yes, yes, you did know? Yes, you did know. <laughs> Chicken my ring. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not that good. <laughs> like you guys knew for sure. <laughs> Sorry. You guys knew for sure that he was cheating, like it was obvious, right? I mean, those kind of wall hacks. Question, I mean, I don't know if anyone in chat would even know, but when you have hacks on, do you choose when to shoot or do they shoot for you because if so why would you ever shoot someone through a wall it depends there's different kinds oh hmm. your aim sticks to the head i guess even if it is through a wall even if they don't shoot you would probably see their mouse like move there hmm interesting a maki locurus nope. Not cheating in Fortnite on wide mode. Despite being down and finished on. countless times by his I missed opponent, a message. A what did it say? Mm. Oh, it was kind of sus because our IGL got shot through smoke because it's land, so we don't mind it. Oh, actually, that's true. If I was playing against someone in land, I'd be like, wow, they're fucking crazy because. You never expect someone to cheat on LAN. Also, Meichi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Fuel, thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. which prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet <laughs> No, that's too funny. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to quiet about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. Oh my 
After continuing to play normally, Mikey was approached by event organizers who asked him to leave the match, yet he'd refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this prompted discussion online about whether Mikey had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating, I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. Fun fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot like whilst trying to prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex oh, Legends player yeah, in the beginning, weird. Captain Baldy would be called out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another clip then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. <laughs> And as a result, his chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. <laughs> Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager. Wait, he's not even bald. It's not fucking funny anymore. Yet hilariously, he seemed to instead chat the key, which brought up his cheat menu. Oh my god, he's a double liar. Lies about being bald. Lies about not cheating. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I don't want guys to be upset because it's a joke. So, uh, but I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Sometimes Hold it's up. funnier oh, to say. <laughs> I was gonna yeah, make a joke like because then you all have you all have an oh idea in your the chat mind then and you can laugh Captain at it if you want. <laughs> which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn. Damn. <laughs> with the Captain Boy saga huh? ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. That's Getting crazy. caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers <laughs> noticed that he Baldi. always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, so just like our last cheater, the audience requested that he show his task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu, however, after accessing the task manager, his stream display bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. <gasps> After being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight. Over 2k views overall. Some people even- <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I did some really fucked up shit. I got 2k views. fart and it'll get two million views <laughs> yeah man i cheated and i got 2k views <laughs> Even post it's my gameplay online. Flex. Thanks it's for the shout outs, <laughs> people. Really appreciate the help. Although these 2,000 views like worth of free press didn't contribute getting... to the long term nah. growth of his career, as Young hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. The reason for this I'm claim would become apparent in July of 2020 when he'd go player. live displaying his skills, only he completely <laughs> forgot that he had his wall. What is wrong with having 2K viewers, Pokey? Guys, I hope I made it very clear. There's nothing wrong with having 2K viewers at all, ever. There's nothing wrong with any viewership. But if you do a bad thing and then flex about the views that it gets you, it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Especially because you're not like, I got 2 million views, two, I made 2 million dollars, like, I got 2K views from doing something super shitty, you know? And also, obviously, for him, it's like Hacks one time. On. The end to Twisted Bear's career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned yeah, from Call of the Duty, then Twitch, and was never hurt. He's doing a bad thing for it. It's never a flex, especially the whole, like, all PR is good PR. Like, that's not true. 
it from ever again. But this is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a much more significant figure in the Call of Duty community, sporting a Twitch follow account of over 50,000. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people, Mr. Golds brought up his task manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good at the game? Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like seriously. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally brought up his cheat menu. Guys, have you ever seen anyone hit their raise alts like me? I literally borderline get an ace like every fucking time that I raise alt. I hit nothing but headshots. Check the fucking stats. I'm top fragging right now and I'm top fragging all the time. And I was top fragging on your mom yesterday. Oh, 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 sh oh shit. Clara! <laughs> like, you, it's, you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. It's up and he's flexing. But am I the only one also who watches this? And I'm like, you can't trust anyone ever. Ever. Because, uh, but it also makes me feel kind of um, gullible. Like if someone says something enough times or says it like very adamantly, I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, like that, he's gotta be legit. Like look at how adamant they are, right? But also every single time in my life that I've caught someone cheating, they, sorry, not cheating, that I caught someone lying to me about something and I confronted them, they kept lying. Every single, every single time. I was kind of glad I learned that early because then you're like, yeah. Did you see Ludwig's cheat at the show match yesterday? I didn't. I did watch quite a bit of it, but I didn't see the cheat thing. Who did that? I've already told like some of the stories, just like high school stuff. When a girl lies and then you go up to them and they keep lighting, light, lighting, <laughs> lying. <laughs> New, on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golds would upload an apology video in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about I didn't mean to. What does he mean? I didn't mean to. You don't download and use cheats without meaning to. I mean, come on, buddy. Before going on a Listen, I will say, internet apologies are hard. Take it from me, man. <laughs> Sorry, but <coughs> Sorry again. I think the COVID is still in here deep down. But yeah, it, it's hard. I need to watch the full video to give full context. It's nice that he tried to apologize at least. Maybe he meant like, oh, I didn't mean to take it this far. Maybe less so than I didn't mean to download a program that I was then clearly using to aim bots try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was this is not who i am this is really not who i am despite having cheated for months in the lead up to his expose <laughs> these days mr gold's twitch Sorry. channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from tesla which sounds like an though. even bigger scam you know? than his wall hacks however a more interesting bitch be for real not with photoshopped elon musk come on now come on now <laughs> yeah kevin you need the warzone cheats huh <laughs> to win your casual weekly game <laughs> actually i wonder how easy it is to get warzone cheats because i hear that that's one of the easiest games to cheat in but I don't think 
I see many cheaters in Valorant like ever. I think that's one of the least common ones. But they also have kernel access. Like they own your PC, they own your ISP, they own your SSN, they have all your information. So they know when you're cheating for real. But I hear it was a big issue in Warzone. Ah, oh, so cute. Everybody's saying hi. I like it when you guys say hi to people that come and chat. You know, make them feel welcome. <clears throat> Valorant anti-cheat also mines crypto for you. <laughs> what? It's a two-in-one. That's great. Free money. In question to ponder is what happens when a game... Okay. I also heard... Um, I heard that there, there's this thing called like VPN hacks or cheats in Warzone, which I think means when you use a VPN and it makes your lobbies easier. You know what I mean? Is that how it works? So it's not that you're aimbotting or that you're playing better, it's that your opponents are a lot easier. <clears throat> interesting do people consider that cheating or is it kind of like playing on a smurf then again when you play on a smurf it'll usually like it'll be able to tell and then you'll play against hard people anyways so both hmm. i guess that's like the gray area i didn't know you could do that in fortnite days But also, how can you tell if someone is using a VPN? <clears throat> is that Cheeto dust on your hands? No, it's just like, you see my hands look fine here, but if I place them down here, they look more orange. It's just because it's darker here. See, normal, not Cheeto. Cheeto. By their KD developer gets ah, caught cheating see. on his own game this is what happened to Ortonil. would you consider <clears throat> boosting as cheating i guess it depends like if someone can't hold their own in an elo maybe i think playing duo q is not cheating i think boosting is like <clears throat> you tell your friend who's super super high elo to go on a super 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 low elo account and then maybe play together but also in valorant like you still have to do well i think it's very hard to boost people past their elo so it's hard to tell i think it has to be on a case-by-case -case basis that you judge this kind of thing <clears throat> dueling is fine though <clears throat> sorry <laughs> but yo can i tell you guys a secret I think I have told this story one other time only. So back, and I'm only telling this story because it has been years since this person has streamed, okay? Yo, I'm gonna I'm switch to this scene to tell y'all some motherfucking stories, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Before I begin. My saturation is so high today. That's much better. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why I was looking so damn orange. So, it was the saturation. I put it down. Look at my naked mole rat. Oh. Doesn't he actually look like a naked mole rat? Yo, we're both kind of orange. <laughs> and then Mimi's actually sleeping right behind the, the camera. Okay, two stories. One is related, one is completely not related. Which one do you guys want to hear first? <laughs> Spill the tea, sis. Oh, I'm spilling. I'm spilling the matcha. Related first? Okay. 
I'm only sharing this story because it has long since passed and because the girl that I'm talking about no longer streams and she hasn't for years, so I don't think anyone will be able to piece together who it is. Basically, when I first started streaming, I used to play League of Legends a lot. And I was usually like plat diamond elo, like high diamond elo. And man, I used to try so damn hard. You can ask Scara. <laughs> like I would be such a little try hard, okay? And I was so, trying so hard to prove myself and to improve and to like play well while streaming while also being ghosted and people know where you are and all this stuff and they Q snipe you and blah, blah, blah. So I, <laughs> during this day, I obviously made a lot of other female streamer friends who also played League. And one of the other reasons why we were all kind of like trying to prove ourselves was because the scene was a little bit misogynistic at the time. And if you were a girl in like even plat or diamond, people called you boosted all the time. They're like, you don't deserve your rank. You're not good enough. Blah, 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 blah. And it's so disheartening, but you know, just made us push even harder. <laughs> a little bit. It hasn't changed. Yo, I don't <laughs> I'm coping, okay? <laughs> so. Sorry. Um, yeah, I made a lot of other female streamer friends and we had all of each other added and one day I noticed this one girl in particular who had been streaming a lot longer than me and she was around my rank and I noticed one evening that I was solo queuing, neither of us were streaming, but she was playing solo queue and she had been for a while and I noticed that she was playing a new character so she was playing Nidalee jungle oh 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 what <laughs> am I back <laughs> can you say I'm back if I'm back Oh, hello? Dude, is that a Twitch problem? Because I have no dropped frames at all. I think maybe there was an F for some people, but not everybody. Probably a Twitch problem. Hmm. Yeah, definitely Twitch. <coughs> so, back to my story. One evening, late at night, I'm playing solo queue, I notice she's playing solo queue. So I hover over and it tells you what agent she's playing. And I notice that she was playing Nidalee. And I was like, oh, I've never seen her play that because she basically only played mid lane um, and she only played like two characters. Okay, champ. What, y'all want me to say this again? Anyways, you hover over <laughs> and you see, and I... I'm gonna stop fucking telling this story if y'all correct me one more time. So I see that she's playing Nidalee and I check her match history and she's been playing Nidalee all night. Nidalee jungle. And I know I've never seen her play jungle in my life. And she never ever plays jungle on stream ever. And when I tell you she was popping off, like, KD through the roof. Um, and I remember I like messaged her and she was typing all weird. And I was like, oh no, someone is 100% on her account. Because it's so hard to, especially in Diamond, just randomly swap to a whole different role and a whole different champion and be doing super 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 well and that was the evening that i realized high likelihood that she was being boosted was she hacked no 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 and again i can't say a hundred percent but i am 90 percent sure someone was playing on her account um <laughs> She was hacked. 
because it's it's just not normal oh oh my god the other dead giveaway was that her summoner spells swapped so usually you have like flash on f and then something else on d she was using flash on d and like smite on f is it dnf i think so so yeah that was the other dead giveaway and i was like god damn and it made me really sad <laughs> I don't know if I ever would have outed her, but I also couldn't because it would have just reinforced this notion that girls are boosted, hee hee ha ha, right? So I just kept it to my damn self. I looked the other way. I said, sorry, who? Who did what? Damn, you are so good at Nidalee Jungle. <laughs> you are so amazing. Good job. <laughs> damn, you are learning a new character and new key bindings and new everything. Good job. <laughs> Yeah, maybe Clara was on her account. Crazy, crazy. Okay, I actually have a story for you guys that I don't think I ever said, but it's un it's unrelated. It's un un unrelated. Okay. But was she good for her, her Elo when she was on stream? Um, I think she was okay. She wasn't like bad. But she was okay. So Again, this is a story I'm only sharing because it's been so many years that I don't think anyone is going to know who the heck I'm talking about. But when I very, very first started streaming, I'm talking like 10, 20 viewers, like I was a little, little baby, just started. Um, this one guy had raided me, which means like he sent his viewers to my channel and they were all saying hi. And you know when you just start streaming and you go from like 10, 20 viewers to like 200? That's insane. You're like oh my god you know um and i was so i was so shocked and like flattered and baffled and i was like wow hello everybody thank you <laughs> and so me and this guy started talking and how much should i say let me think about it well anyways anyways we started talking and we became friends and he was like one of the first streamer friends that i ever made really and she was pretty nice to me and he was talking to this well he was also friends with this other female streamer that i used to watch and she had a lot of viewers like a thousand and i mean that's crazy back in the day it was so hard to have a thousand viewers as a female streamer and so he was talking to me and he said hey like i would love to introduce you to my friend and i was like heck yeah like i would love to make more streamer friends <laughs> so i'm watching her stream and he goes <laughs> stop okay a few of you guys have heard this story so he goes <laughs> because you're making me laugh he like hops on skype with this girl while she's streaming and he's like hey can you <laughs> stop doing the pepe love or i can't <laughs> yes skype bro Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Stop doing it or I can't finish my story. Are you going to let me finish? Are you going to let me finish? <laughs> okay, I'm closing the chat. I'm done so he goes <laughs> he goes on this girl's stream and they're on voice chat they're like on Skype talking he's like hey I want to introduce you to this streamer friend that I just made her name is Pokey she's really cool I like her stream blah 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 and the girl is streaming and he links her my twitch she opens up my twitch and I was really new at the time so I didn't have much on it it was just my icon she takes one look at my icon and she goes, mm, you could do better and exits out. And I'm sitting there watching with a thousand other live viewers. <laughs> also because like, I was not seeing this guy. He introduced me as a friend and she just, she was just like, mm, you can do better. 
And then after she exited, she followed up with the other girl that you were seeing before was cuter. And I was like, not like this. I'm 17. Like, just, just a little fan, so excited to meet streamers, sitting my ass at home, all hyped up that I'm meeting these cool people. And yeah. But, you know, I tried to take it with a grain of salt because I'm like, obviously she didn't know that I was in the audience, even though that was kind of hurtful. And I was kind of annoyed that she assumed that it was in a romantic manner when he just introduced me as a friend and she solely judged me on one small icon. But it is what it is, right? So I go about my life. And a year or two later, I start gaining like a significant amount of traction on Twitch and I surpass her in viewership. And lo and behold, look who starts following me on Twitter. Hmm, interesting. So I follow her back because again, I'm the kind of person who like, I wanna be friends with everybody. I wanna make friends with everyone and I try to give people as much the benefit of the doubt as I can. And <laughs> she DMs me, she goes, oh my God, I love your streaming setup. <laughs> What lights do you use? What camera do you use? What is that thing in the background? Blah, blah, blah. Just starts like, is, is the term brown nosing? She just starts sucking up to me so hard. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I wonder if she forgot that I'm the same girl she low-key roasted in front of all her viewers like a year ago. But I didn't want to start any beef, so... I just linked her all my lights and stuff and, <laughs> and went on about it. <laughs> I'll be petty as fuck. I figure it's like good karma to not be petty, so. The amount of secrets you must be sitting on in this scene for so long. Yeah. <laughs> I have some other ones, but, but I also want to say like sometimes I share these stories. I don't want to say like these people are bad people. That's also why I don't usually like say the names and stuff. They just make for funny fucking stories. Like they really do. <laughs> and I like to share a good story. Was it Lily? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was for sure Lily. Lily also kicked my dog. I don't have a dog, but if I did, Lily would have kicked it. <laughs> I have some other ones that I want to share, but <laughs> I don't want the people to feel bad. I genuinely think these stories are funny. Like, I, I don't hold any grudges, really, or anything like that. <laughs> There's one that's so funny. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to say it. <laughs> because um, I don't want to cause trouble for this person because I really like them now. <laughs> no, no, guys, it's not on me to tell. Like, I would have to ask her if I can, if I can say it. Um, but it's really funny. <laughs> I will, I will ask them. I'll ask them. Anyways, thank you guys for listening. I have, I have, so, I have hella stories, okay? So many more that came from. Let me think if there's any that I haven't told. I feel like there's, you know, like my core dedicated audience y'all know so much but there are still things here and there that even i forget about for real <laughs> best pettiness would have been dm her on twitter and ask her nicely to unfollow you because she can do better bruh she probably wouldn't even know what the fuck i'm talking about like did you see the riot games interview about losers q in valorant no i didn't what's that I think um, a part of me was like, maybe she literally forgot. But then again, maybe she was hoping that I would forget. But I didn't. I acted like I did. But bitch, I didn't. Oh, it makes me sad that like my best stories are the ones that I can't share yet. <sighs> maybe someday. I saw a couple of people ask when and how I met Ray, but like, I kid you not, I've known either of Ray or I've known Ray for so long, like, I can't even fucking remember. It was that long ago. Like, I swear to God, 
I have a memory of Ray like playing, like streaming on her GameCube or something in like curly hair, like so long ago. So I can't remember when was like the first time we met in person or anything like that. Save it for a rainy day. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> it was so, so long ago. And I remember when she moved in with Alexia. Oh my God. And all of the Fortnite times. She has dementia. Low key. <laughs> Low key, like, there are a lot of things that I remember, but there are a lot of things that I forget. Hmm. Anyways. When a good memory is triggered, I will share with you. The H1Z1 technical director who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. What's happening? Are you cheating? Really, dude? You're cheating? A dev cheating. Wait, wait, can you not, you not see, see him? him? Yeah, you can't, you can't see, see me? Yeah. Oh, he is. oh my god, am I hidden? Oh! I'm PP Jeff. Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. Yeah. However, there was absolutely- This is the only one that I feel bad about. Oh, it's most replayed! Because his reaction was so genuine. Oh my god, am I hidden? Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been left on accidentally. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he was probably just like testing some kind of dev thing. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, there was absolutely no accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. On the 4th of November 2019, FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get aimbot and everything. And that he was going to test the hacks for his video. This is Why what happens. You... Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, but it's it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop off. It's about to be lit. We're about to pop off. <laughs> Over the following seven oh, minutes, Jarvis lit up every single person games. in the lobby it's with his insane aimbot accuracy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally oh, using oh. aimbot. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Whilst explaining sorry, that he I'm was sorry. using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have oh Aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. Jarvis finished Aww. the video by once again reiterating that you shouldn't hack and that his dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use Aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite account, would watch his video and ban every single one of his person. accounts permanently. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video Video titled I've been banned from Fortnite I'm sorry in which he'd explained that he could no longer like, play the game I have actually been permanently banned so on Fortnite for life recently young. I posted some videos of me using aimbot it didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite before stating that he was extremely sorry for his actions you know it's, it's <laughs> obvious that I made a massive mistake and also. of course I would never think about doing anything like this again I know now how big of a mistake this was and like I, it's just there's, there's nothing I can... <laughs> the video accompanied a tweet by Jarvis reading, I'm going to take accountability for my actions and I understand completely why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences were at the time and I would have never thought about doing it. I love all of you who still support me. This is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that he tried to create. The interesting yeah. thing is Jarvis... You have to understand, especially, people always think that they can push the envelope when things are new and beginning and when they feel like strong or powerful or they're getting viewers. You have to understand these games, these platforms, they will make an example out of you. And you know what? Sometimes even the law does that. The, the government or whoever the fuck. I think similarly 
to how an example was made out of Jarvis with Fortnite. And no one else, no other creator has ever promoted aimbot or hacks like that. I think something similar will happen in the crypto space where some creator is really, really going to get hit hard with the book when it comes to like crypto scams or scamming their audience or things like that. Elvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish who might have Did the craziest cheating story in this whole video. Who what, super fast jellyfish was a yeah. Super Mario 64 speedrunner who wanted to join the exclusive nine person list of Super Mario players who had completed the game whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, super fast jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight. And apparently he was correct as he'd successfully complete the blind blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 oh, no. to upload a video titled Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 Speedrun oh. in which he tears super fast jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, quickly make his way up the path, and then do this long jump to the next red, all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he okay, somehow know exactly crazy. where the one-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the one-up will go and once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, he somehow knows exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who is actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, super fast jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he tried to claim that the run had been fake deliberately. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely fake. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of his lies. A super fast jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike. Nah, I need to look into this. What do you mean? The truth behind obvious. I, I want to hear the rest of the context. So. What? I think he took it down. Hmm. What is Maybe up guys, we'll Tipster here, hair. and today I have a new... Uh, which is interesting, you guys check out this we video. Uh, it's to actually a pretty him, interesting sorry. video. Again, a link in the pinned Wait, it's not the top below. one, is it? No, 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 this is the video where they call him out. I want to see his response. What is up guys, Tipster here, and today I have a new... Play content, the original video, if you actually go and watch it. But, the speedrunner has responded. They go by super fast jellyfish. They have only. Mm -hmm. No, it's not here. 520 subscribers. Yes, uh, private this response and deleted this channel. YouTube. Mimi, you're pausing the video, my dear. Oh, it's gone, gone. And uh, they basically responded to the situation. It says, the truth behind obvious cheater fakes blindfolded Super Mario 64 speedrun. So I thought we would take a look at this person's response. We'll just kind of react to it as we go along. So uh, let's listen to it. Let's see what this guy has to say in regards to him basically being called out for. It's not even a question of whether or not he cheated. Like, he literally cheated at this speedrun. There's no way he could pull off some of the things that he pulled off in his speedrun blindfolded. Uh, it's just impossible. So let's listen to what this guy has to say. I'm going to put it on uh, 1.5 speed so we can get through it a little bit more quickly. Uh, but yeah, let's listen to what he has to say in regards to this whole you know, cheating scam. Here we go. 3x? I want to listen. Oh, I know what we've all seen this video. I just want to some lights on that video, on what is going on. I want to explain my side of this situation. What you watched was an edited version, obviously, of my blindfolded speedrun. <laughs> that's what I was Okay. Now, what you may not know is that that speedrun was purposely fake. Oh. fake. Okay, so right off the bat, he's not even denying the fact that this was a fake <laughs> speedrun. This was a fake blindfolded speedrun. He's openly admitting that he absolutely did fake this thing. He's not denying it. He's not making any excuses. Or... It's just, here we go. <laughs> Hello. By now, I'm sure you've all seen the video on what is going on. I want to explain my side of this situation. Yes, I love you. What you watched was an edited version, obviously, you of can my relax. blindfolded speedrun. That's what I was on Twitch. Oh, y'all like the okay. 3x feed? Say less. What you may not know is that that speedrun was... Was intentional. Oh, purposely. Fake. It was purposely fake. 
Okay, so right off the bat, he's fake. not even denying the fact that this was a fake speedrun. This was a fake blindfolded speedrun. He's openly admitting that he absolutely did fake this thing. He's not denying it. He's not making any excuse or whatever. This was a fake speedrun. He didn't He didn't actually do a blindfolded speedrun. He faked this whole thing. So watching right out the gates, he's just like... admitting to it. Um, <laughs> Hello. I don't know. It is clearly obvious that it is not a real blindfold yeah. run. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that is 100% accurate. It is not a real blindfold run. It never was. Never was. Um, Prior to doing this stream, I decided to do this run as a way to jump around and have fun with my community at the time. There was only about 20 people watching my stream, and I do not have a very large community myself. This okay, so he said that he faked this thing to kind of just, like, joke around. Okay, if you want to do, like, a joke blindfolded speedrun, I suppose that wouldn't be so bad, right? But here's the problem. But you wouldn't do it at no for point the whole during that stream thing. does he actually indicate or clarify that this is a joke, that's not real. He doesn't at any point in time during the stream, there's no evidence of him suggesting, this is just a big joke, guys, I'm not really blindfolded speedrunning this thing, this is just a meme. That's the problem. He tried to pass it off to his audience, and he may have a small audience, sure, but he tried to pass it off to his audience as a legitimate blindfolded speedrun. In fact, if you go back to that other video, you can see people in the chat who legitimately believe that what he's doing is real. There are people who aren't familiar, super familiar yeah, with speedrunning. So they don't know the techniques that actual that blindfolded fake, speedrunners use, so they were fooled by the illusion. That it so, okay, you say that this was a joke. It was just a big fake. game. It was just intended to be funny. It was never, you know, intended to be a serious thing. But here's the thing. Your audience thought it was a real thing. That's where this becomes a problem. Anyway, let's continue. This run was never meant to be submitted. It was never meant to be legitimate. And a lot of the things in the run well, was it submitted? point to that were the major. Okay, so now he's saying that he never intended to submit this into the leader voice. Okay, fine. You never intended to submit it. That's good. I would hope that you wouldn't submit an obviously fake run like this because mm -hmm. one, that would be bad on your part, trying to take somebody's spot for an obviously fake speedrun. But not only that, but it would be really embarrassing for you when this thing got rejected because this absolutely would have been rejected. There's no way in hell any speedrun moderator would approve this run because it was very obviously fake. Now, I take an issue with something else he said there. He said that it was obvious that he never intended to submit this because it was obvious he was faking it. Yes, two <laughs> speedrunners, people who watch speedruns like myself, people who are familiar with the techniques that a lot of speedrunners use. I don't do blindfolded speedruns. Who did, it was just a, to submit. Um, I feel bad for skipping over this you, guy's video, but, but you I did just not make that clear to your audience, and that's where the issue comes in. Things is you can clearly see that a lot of the run is just not at all similar to other blindfolded speedruns. Right. I watched blindfolded speedruns, um, and they're very impressive. They're very impressive. And I never once wanted to take away anything from those individuals that do do those runs. That's good. That's good. I think those runs are very impressive. At this point, I've never like, legitimately tried to do anything like that. I myself am a speedrunner, but I have no legitimate interest in uh, going that route with my speedruns. I have a problem here. This is just a thought on my own. <laughs> like to be a real a bunch of submit. Sorry. Was part of the plan, but I've been doing this for a long time confused why fake a speed run in this manner again even if it was a joke something is just not adding up bro i'll fucking know okay here's my take i think he had it on probably because he wanted to farm um he wanted to farm viewers that thought that it was legit like he probably liked that people came in they're like wow you're doing a blindfolded run uh, but he wasn't going to submit it because he knew that it was not legit so he kind of just wanted the best of both worlds, wanted to take advantage of people who thought that it was serious without getting in trouble, but also pretending it was a joke. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's all.